move to the state school superintendent's race, and we have candidate Sonia Francis Roll. <clears throat> Ms. Roll, anyone present here? Ms. Roll. Okay, we'll move to the next one. Uh, State School Superintendent Candidate Botha Thornton. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Both the Thornton, I'm candidate for State School Superintendent. It's great to be here today. I see your, your time model is a city with no limits. So let's take Georgia today in education. I think we can do that. I'm a 21 year uh, retired from the United States Army, Lieutenant Colonel. My last assignment in the, in the Armed Forces was with the, uh, I served in Iraq. I served, they earned the Bronze Star for exceptional performance in combat in Baghdad, Iraq, and also uh, the White House. I served as a communications officer for President George Bush and President Barack Obama. Also, after my retirement, I served as a National Parent Teacher Association president where I represented uh, all 50 states and U.S. territories, working with parents and teachers and educators to make our education system better. And one of my major accomplishments in 2015, uh, I was able to work with the White House, Congress, and the Department of Education in getting that Every Student Succeeds Act passed. Uh, to address Congress to reform our education. Now, what did that do for Georgia? Uh, what we did with that particular act is we pushed more power back down to the states and all sorts of local school districts. I think that's very important. Some people ask, what does the state school superintendent do? The state school superintendent basically the chief education officer for the state that's responsible for state policies and to ensure that we're resourcing school districts like here in Valdosta and the other 189 school districts. There's 159 county, but 189 school districts in Georgia. So executive leadership is very important. Prioritizing what we need, which I'll talk about that in a minute. And we also need executive advocacy. Uh, again, I've sat down with executives working to make our system better. I always say if you're not at the table, you're on the main. So, <laughs> so I want to make sure, uh, I'm from Elberton, Georgia, I've been in North Georgia, but I live in South Georgia, I've been in South Georgia about a decade, so I understand the challenges we have here in South Georgia and can address those. Here's some of the issues that people are talking about around uh, the state of Georgia. First of all, education is everyone's responsibility. Education begins at home. Yes. So with that being said, we also have a responsibility as a community for those, kids, for those kids that homes are not equal. So that being said, wraparound services. We can stop a lot of school violence if we identify kids in the beginning that have problems, that we can have proper funding for psychologists, social workers, just make sure we take care of kids so they can know how to read by third grade and able to be successful in school. So wraparound services are very important. And I've seen this around the country in school systems that work. I tell people uh, I have worked with evidence-based solutions, not making up anything to making a difference. So with that being said, school safety is very important. Don't arm teachers. Arm them with supplies, resources, things that make sense. The last thing, funding. That's going to be very important. I'm very excellent on workforce development. And the last thing is, uh, I'm from a rural town. It said, roosters crow, hens deliver. I deliver. <laughs> <laughs>